Measuring angles. Let's review angles. An angle is formed where two rays meet at a common endpoint. Angles are measured in degrees. A circle has 360 degrees. Pieces of the circle form angles, like pieces of a pie. This angle measures 50 degrees. Half of a circle is 180 degrees. This is what we use to measure angles. Remember, there are four different types of angles. An acute angle measures less than 90 degrees. A right angle measures exactly 90 degrees, and often you'll see a little square in the corner to show that it's a right angle. An obtuse angle is more than 90, but less than 180 degrees. And a straight angle measures exactly 180 degrees. To measure angles, we use a tool called a protractor. Just line the protractor up on top of the angle so that one ray points to zero. One ray is lined up with zero. The other tells us the angle's measurement. This angle measures 30 degrees. It's an acute angle. Let's try measuring another angle. Line the protractor up on top of the angle. This angle measures 145 degrees. It's an obtuse angle. Let's try another. Hmm, this won't work. Remember, one ray has to be lined up with the zero. We'll have to turn the protractor to line it up correctly. That's better. This angle measures 90 degrees. It's a right angle. Let's try measuring another angle. Lined up with zero, and this tells us the measurement 53 degrees. This is an acute angle. Line one ray up with zero, the other tells us the measurement 109 degrees. That makes this an obtuse angle. Sometimes you can't move the protractor, like if it's printed on paper. Instead, we can figure out how many degrees are between the two rays. I'm gonna take jumps of 10 to count. 10 degrees, 20 degrees, 30 degrees, 40 degrees, 50 degrees, 60 degrees. I can't jump 10 more. It looks like I can only go five more, 65 degrees. This angle measures 65 degrees. It's an acute angle.